Okay, but we saw a very, situ very serious situation develop between these two. Cherry Bomb was letting the world know, the public that adore her, adores her know, exactly what she was, what her goals here. Denim Pants, Leva Bates decided to get in her face and say very mean-spirited comments about Canada's greatest import. Who adores her? I do, Pepper Parks, the fans in attendance, the fans watching at home, the fans that just Google image her. Oh, man! Let's see what happens when you raise the ire of Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb is as vicious as she is beautiful. She's the Regina George of this company. That's pretty sad that you know that. I was just about to say that. Well, I, I could bust out my knowledge of um, that Drama Queen's confession movie, but I'm not going to name the characters there because I'll be made fun of, bullied. What? Break her glasses. She just said a blasphemous thing and did a blasphemous thing. Well, that, also blasphemous. That did kind of hurt me a little Testify, bit. Testify, Cherry Bomb. No. That was a gore. I don't think that's Dudley related. No, nah, it's close enough. 3D press. And now battling, battling off. Cherry Bomb, Cherry Bomb really. on my nerves. I feel bad for Pepper Parks when he gets an argument with his wife. The Dusty oh, Boy, oh. the Dusty Boy elbow. That bionic elbow. Cherry Bomb is staggered. She just got hit in the second best part of her body, her brain. Nope. Third, oh. you're right. Watch oh, it. Man. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Atomic Bomb. Cherry Bomb is out of it. This could be it for Cherry Bomb. Only getting a two count, though. Leva Bates busting out all those Bubba-related maneuvers. I think she's going for a what's up drop. Yep. Oh, man, that'd be a great what's up. Cherry, I think she very much underestimated. Oh, she missed it, though. Look at the resilience of Cherry Bomb. Look at Cherry Bomb's face right now. She is thrilled at the mistake that Leva Bates just made, and she's capitalizing on it. Not only is she assaulting her physically, but verbally assaulting her as she goes on the attack There's of Leva Bates. There's people who would pay money for that. The referee that's not condoning this right now is one of them. Yeah, I feel free. And I can hear it all the way over here, and I got earmuffs on. What we can all understand right now is just how dangerous Cherry Bomb is, just how focused she is on her career right now. Cherry Bomb very pleased with herself, but she's not careful. Leva's gonna catch her again. Hey, Leva Bates can fight from the bottom. Oh man, oh, man. anything Cherry Bomb dishes out, I think she can handle, to be honest with you. Only getting a two count there, going for the cover again, but once again, only getting a two count. With Cherry Bomb, she made sure to go for a cover once again, trying to catch Leva off guard. Well, the crowd is chanting, we want tables, and we know what's coming up later tonight. I just want bombs. That's all I want right now. I'm surprised Pepper has smacked the hell out of you yet. He loves me. Oh, so it's that kind of relationship? Oh, look at that! The force behind that elbow smash! He wishes. And Cherry Bomb, though, looking well here as she goes to the cover. One, two, and only getting a two count once again. Leva Bates keeping this match alive. Cherry Bomb, though, you see, starting to frustrate her a little. Starting to send her usually well balanced mind off kilter a little. Go for a cover here, only getting a two count. Oh, look at this. Impressive offense here from Leva Bates. She's got the head scissors and a cross arm breaker. Going for the arm breaker right underneath the armpit right now. Extra leverage, actually, on all the joints, the elbow and the wrist, in fact. Cherry Bomb might be ready to tap out here. How long can Cherry Bomb hold on this? She's dead center in the ring. She might have a little bit of a leverage advantage, as you see there. Oh, rolls up into a cover here. Ooh, only getting a two count. Sherry, I think, is a little surprised by the offense of Miss Bates. Leva Bates 
Going to work on Cherry Bomb now. Or would it be Bates Dudley? No, it was Denim Pants Dudley. Uh, yeah, didn't you hear me earlier? Cherry Bomb right now, though, not letting Bates get any sustained momentum. Just eyeing her up right now for that drop kick in the corner. God, the viciousness in the eyes of Cherry Bomb. Compressing the spine completely. Top of the neck, under the turnbuckle, feet right into the posterior. We got a cover here. Look at the leg again. This One, be two. It. Only a two count. Cherry Bomb now starting to get more and more irate as Leva Bates refuses to stay down here. But the more irate she gets, the more she opens herself up to make a mistake and for Bates to be able to capitalize. Oh! Okay, how was that legal? It, it was above the belt. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I think Bates learned a little too much from the antics of those Dudleys. Oh, kicks off Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb, though. Not kicked with enough force to go into the guardrail. What is Leva Bates? Oh, oh, man, that Russian leg sweep. Still got her spine, though. Yeah. I think it took a little bit out of, out of both of them. Yeah, both their spines, I think, hit that ring apron. Yeah, but Leva Bates training. The men who trained her, high risk, high reward. Sometimes you got to give a little to get a lot. Shut up! Cherry Bomb, even in pain. Even in agony, still takes time to point out the flaws and what the haters are saying. That's, that's the problem. She's too busy worrying about the haters. There's not many of them, so she's got to shut them down. And both women now struggling to get in that ring, be beating that 10 count. Both women now back into the ring. Cherry Bomb goes for a wild right, but gets caught. Now chopping away is Leva Bates. She's got some padding. Oh, the damage is done though. Double chopping. High kicking. Leva Bates now. Firing away on Cherry Bomb. She's going to break Cherry Bomb's winning streak if she keeps this up. And here she goes. Head full of steam. Coming in and crashing down on Cherry Bomb. Hook in the waist. Northern Light suplex. That could be it. Cherry Bomb. Not only great strength by Leva Bates, great, great neck conditioning, and she's gonna follow it up with a big maneuver. I think I know what she's calling for. Pounding away on Cherry Bomb, goes to whip her off the ropes, reversal. Looks like up and over. A leapfrog, literally. Tremendous agility, now she's gotten her reverse inverted DDT. That could be it here, she goes for the cover, hooking that leg, and th oh. Almost breaking Cherry Bomb's winning streak. And Leva Bates isn't done yet. Using all her force with that drop kick to send Cherry in the corner. She's not, a good not looking good right now. As Leva Bates, look at this! Oh no! Look at that, Cherry Bomb once again. Finding an opening, taking advantage of it. The fans are not liking this now as Leva Bates is not in a good way. Cherry Bomb. Oh, man! That leap up drop kick right to the side of the head, and Leva Bates looks knocked out cold. Cherry Bomb now pulling Leva Bates into position, going for that cover. This could be it. Hooking both the arm and the leg, two in him. Leva Bates, pure instinct there. Getting that shoulder up before three. She's still sticking with it. She's still staying in this matchup. Let a fire under her career once again, and she doesn't want it to be put out by Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb coming from the second row. Oh, oh, man! Out of nowhere! I guess that's 2D. I guess three if you count Cherry. Now cover. Grips the arm. One, two. Once again, Cherry Bomb getting that shoulder up before three. What else is Leva Bates going to be able to bust out to try to put away Cherry Bomb? Cherry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is! The best super kick ever! And Leva Bates is done! That's a second blow to the side of the head she's taking, and that's. Oh, no! What? Stop. 
Leva Bates' head is taking a beating. There's no way she's fully conscious right now. This is what Cherry Bomb is doing. She's gearing it up for it again. Cherry rare and ready to go. Well, no. Once again, no. Oh, oh man! No. WSE! Worst super kick ever! The second one. It must be not that great as Cherry Bomb hasn't gone down. Oh, come oh, on, man! Whoa. Now, that was the worst one. I wish she got, did get hit. No! Oh, man! Even topping the first one she hit. Two and three. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Cherry Bomb! And the streak continues for Cherry Bomb. This is going to catapult Cherry Bomb even higher. Her career is going to reach new heights. I expect to see her in magazines soon. She should have been in the Sports Illustrated film she had to Instead of Ronda Rousey, she is the premier woman athlete in the world today. Yeah, I'm late. Stay out late at night and spend dough. But you know that I know it ain't no place like home. And home is where my heart is at. I got you back. You hard time when I felt you picked me up and put me back on track. I always count on you. I know I can. You respect me and accept me for the man that I am. And I know it's not easy. Put up my bullshit. But I guess you love me so much and worth that bullshit. No matter what, you'll always get the best of me. You're the river God has taken from me, baby. You're my destiny. My back. Presentation as part of WWE Women's Extreme Wrestling. My name is Joe Dombrowski. As the trash talk begins early between Kimberly on the right side of the screen and Barbie Hayden, who's now in the foreground with the multicolored hair. Hayden grinds down on the arm. The only way you've seen this match before is you, if you knew where to look. Not widely released, not widely talked about, but two of the best young athletes in all the women's professional wrestling, to say the least. Good clean break. At least I don't look like I fell into the cotton candy machine. Hello. It's uniform style. I thought it was just a pony or something? Stiff words from Kimberly. My hair is beautiful. Raising the ire of the very eccentric Barbie Hayden, who is perhaps the youngest female title holder in the history of the NWA. Peaked at number 12 in the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Women's Top 50 in 2014. She's been to the United States, Canada, two tours of Mexico. Becoming a very worldly traveled here, still in the infancy of her career, controlling that Greco Roman knuckle lock for a moment, but Kimberly overpowering Barbie Hayden. Great neck strength by both ladies to bridge up and prevent their shoulders from touching the canvas. 
That would create a pinfall opportunity. As Hayden looks to ground Kimberly, the native of College Station, Texas, is Barbie Hayden. Trained in part by Funaki, the one and only. Training school down there in Texas for a while. You can see that wide vertical base on that side headlock. Kimberly creates some distance, but Hayden with a takedown. Pace quickens. And Kimberly with a primal scream and a stiff clothesline. One thing about Kimberly as she gets the drop kick, pound for pound as she goes for the cover, finds two. Pound for pound, Kimberly may be the toughest uh, female athlete. She may be the toughest athlete, period, in wrestling right now. Video clip she was in went viral not too long ago of her getting dropped on her head, struck in the head with a chair butt by a male wrestler. But you know what? She got up. She didn't complain. She lived to fight another day, and you know she didn't want any special treatment or sympathy. But uh, perhaps Barbie Hayden will instill some sympathy here with the way she's treating Kimberly at the moment. Barbie Hayden would love her success to go viral. Curb stomp, Kimberly face first into that turnbuckle pad that's a thinly protected steel turnbuckle bolt. You see that bolt sticking out the other end there. Kimberly actually has a, she's a graduate of the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. She's a fine arts degree in dance. One would think that could help her, her body control, her weight positioning in a wrestling match, but right now, not holding up to the offense of Barbie Hayden, but check out Kimberly, that resolve as she starts to fight back. This matchup is uh, really just completely turned into a brawl. I think the comment about the hair earlier really got under the skin of Barbie Hayden. As you see, she's just ripping and stretching the facial features. Finally let's go. I believe she had no choice at that point. Kimberly wasn't going to submit and I question the legality of that maneuver as Barbie comes in with a high knee right to the sternum. And now check this out. Barbie had a grip on Kimberly with the, those thigh muscles and took her over with the head scissors. This could do it here. No. Stacked her up on her shoulders, but... Man, Kimberly able to get the shoulders up at a count of one. Modified Dragon Sleeper now by Hayden. Again, that worldly experience. She's been all over North America. Not the most popular submission move here in the U.S. This is seen more often in the Mexican and Japanese styles. Obviously, it's been integrated into the U.S. several times, but Barbie's showing her know-how in many different styles, but Kimberly gets the jawbreaker. And again, to my point about personal this has gotten, Kimberly takes out the vertical base. Modified Bulldog. This could do it here. Hook in the leg. Only a count of two. As, uh... Both women looking for for something big here, perhaps pile driver? That's outlawed in 90% of this industry, but not here in a DDT. Hayden with an emphatic DDT stacks her up and gets the victory. Proud of herself, too. Barbie Hayden shows why she's successful beyond her years, young in the industry, but very calculated. Barbie Hayden beats the very tough Kimberly on this WWE Secret Show presentation.
we're going to send it down to Maven for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our WSU 8th anniversary main event! This bout will be contested under TLC rules. Introducing first to my right, from the Unseen Forest, ladies and gentlemen, Hanaya the Howling Hunter! And her opponent, to my left, from the realm of Chicago, backslash Dallas, Texas, this is Athena! Did he really say Chicago, backslash Dallas, Texas? Yes. She is. Really want to announce every month. See a level of respect, but as soon as that bell rings, the respect's gonna go out the window as both competitors are gonna give it their all to win this matchup. You just have to imagine, this is, this is the main event of our anniversary event, not a title match. This is a match about pride between two women. The physical Who's the better of the, these two? Yeah, and both athletes have a lot of physical capabilities. Just, just the amount of new, new offensive maneuvers they can bust out with tables, ladders, and chairs in the equation is hard to fameth. Anaya getting rid of Athena to the outside. Athena almost lands on top of that table. Maybe now it's just setting into Athena, just coming so close, being driven through a table. Oh, oh Athena didn't think she would do it. First risk taken by Hanaya. Pinfall or submission wins the match in this one. Nothing hanging from the ceiling. We're going to find out who's better by either a tap out or putting someone's shoulders to the mat for three seconds. In comes Hanaya. <laughs> oh, huge side slam. And we should be clear here. This match, there's no contract, no title belts hanging from the ceiling. These women are just allowed to use tables, ladders, and chairs yeah. in this match. And Athena was the first to bust out the chairs. Leg sweep by Hanaya. Trying to sit up, but oh, that chair's in the wrong position, being drilled right into her face, going for a cover here, but only getting a one count. Both athletes trying to end it early before they put themselves in harm's way too much. Now just driving that forearm. And look at Hanaya. Just viciously pounding now with the forearm. I think she has yeah. a little blood coming from her lip yeah, there. Yeah, it looks like she got caught early. And now look at this, Athena attacked the leg. Looking for a suplex now, but think about it. You take out the legs of your opponent, they can't really utilize the ladders in any high-risk situations. Wait a second, do you see where that chair is? Yep. I got eyes. Oh, oh man. And Athena's got a back that was just driven into it. But Hanaya not going for a pinfall or anything. She's looking to get some objects, some weaponry, a dangerous ladder. Yeah, one of the many that have been brought out to ringside here. Now it should be noted that ladders are not meant to be fought with. Oh, summoning a little bit of Terry Funk here. Just drilling Athena with the edge of that ladder right in the skull. See the way her arm got stuck in that ladder? Not her arm, her neck, everything. We got a cover, that could be it. Only getting a two count. Everything just bent in an undesirable position with the amount of force from the chair and the ladder being drilled into it. Uh-oh. That ladder wasn't good enough. Athena going for what's to be at least like a 10-foot ladder right now. And this is one of the biggest ladders you can buy in the hardware store. Athena having a little bit of trouble trying to maneuver it. I'm, I'm afraid what this ladder is going to be used for if she's having trouble maneuvering it. Just imagine it's being used on a person's body. It's going to be used to put away Hanaya. I can already tell you what she's got in mind. Uh oh, Hanaya just waiting for now big forearm shots, driving her head first into the into that ladder. What does Anaya have planned here? She's psyching herself up now, just walking across the ladder like it's a bridge. Oh, God Almighty! Oh. <laughs> it's a body block! Off 
the ladder onto Athena on the floor. It is the unprotected floor, the typical unprotected floor of this building. And Athena being rolled in the ring smartly by Hanaya. Hanaya went right for the cover. She didn't waste any time in between delivering that moonsault body block and go for a pinfall attempt. Lifting up the stunned Athena right now, trying to... Well, maybe not. I was about to say, Athena's just dead weight right now, but she's coming back to life here. I think she saw that yellow ladder out of the corner of her eye and didn't want to be drilled into it. Instead, drilling into the abs of Hanaya. Taking the wind out and possibly cracking one. Athena has Hanaya up, bringing her down oh. across the ladder. And that is not good. And Athena Cracken goes for a cover. One, two. Only getting a two. Athena smartly. Both, both women right now in this match, both competitors have gone for a cover after using those the ladders. Dude, I'll use those Ds as a weapon along the skull of Hanaya the Howling Huntress. Look at the intensity on the face of Athena. She, don't, she doesn't want to lose two in a row here, especially against Hanaya. Vicious kicks. Hanaya just laying him in. Yeah, just brutalizing the chest of Athena. Dropping Athena down to the mat. And you can see Hanaya, she's got something planned and she's looking around for something. Getting the old standby, it looks like. Setting up those chairs on the outside. Obviously something very, very demented planned by Hanaya. She finds herself in this situation for the first time in her career. Sometimes this is not a, a direction you want to see a match take, but this is a tables, ladders, chairs match in a style for the first time ever. Women's tables, ladders, and chairs match. Hanaya building something on the outside with those chairs. Both women willing to risk it all. Imagine if this doesn't go as Hanaya has planned. Oh, God. A death knell for this matchup for her. Talk about ultra violent feng shui. Talk about the level of desire for victory Hanaya much ha must have. But look at Athena. Hanaya taking yeah, too much time. Athena much time. Uh, regaining her bearings back in this matchup. And Hanaya doesn't know it yet. Hanaya is too busy barking orders at her stand. Oh no. Oh no. Look, did her knee give out? Did an ankle give out? Oh no! Oh. Taking out everybody. Into Athena, or into Hanaya and those helpers. Hanaya looks out of it. All that time, she should have been taking advantage of Athena. She just gave it Athena an opening. And the chair is being rebuilt on the outside. Athena, whatever Hanaya had planned, whatever Hanaya started, Athena's going to capitalize on it. She's going to take advantage of it. She's going to try to put away the Howling Huntress at the 8th anniversary. TLC, chair shot to the back. Hanaya back down. Is there more? Now I think Athena is now taking control of building this demon structure. Oh, she walked under the ladder. Even I know that's bad luck. Well, now we know what's going to happen. Oh, she reversed it. I don't think that's how it works. Grabbing more chairs. We've seen these chair stacks. We've seen these chair pyramids in the past, but I don't know if we've ever seen one that had so many chairs put into it in such a tight-knit area. Well, these ladies want to make a statement here at the oh, oh no. no in South oh. Philadelphia. She's scooping her up. Oh, but wait a minute, no. Hanaya able to roll through, able to get her bearings back into the ring. Now both women are back in the ring, slugging it out. Strike for strike. Both women trying to find out who the tougher competitor is. Making sure they don't go through that chair contraption. Hanaya once again in control of this one. Taking Athena up top. Oh, they are both right by that chair menagerie. Either way they go, it's not a pleasant landing, whatever happens here. I'd rather land in the ring if I had two choices. Oh, Hanaya connects. Beautiful drop kick. 
Oh! oh! Athena walks right into both feet, but follows up herself and knocks Anaya yes, down. Has absorbed that drop kick. And viciously going back on the attack of Hanaya. Now pounding away at the midsection. Athena getting her bearings, getting support from the, the crowd here in Philadelphia. Oh, front handspring delivering that forearm right to the face. Oh, but missing with the follow-up kick to the face. Back and forth this matchup's been. Neither really gaining, gaining firm control of the match for a sustained period of time. Hanaya on the tech. Oh, I didn't know she's uh -oh. caught. This is not good for Hanaya. Oh. High angle suplex straight into the corner. Athena trapping Hanaya's body, driving her into those turnbuckles. And now bringing the ladder back into the equation. Hanaya's not out, but she's definitely stunned. Athena has her right where she wants her. Oh, this is n not a good place to be for Hanaya. Hanaya's just dazed. What does Athena have planned with this ladder? Is she going to do it? Pinned in that corner. No. She's not going to go coast to coast. She's looking to travel around the country. Oh! She didn't get all of it, but she got enough of yeah, it. Just enough of it. Go for the cover here. One, two. Only getting a two count. Had she connected fully, this match would be over. The way she connected with that, she just has control of Hanaya. But she's that much closer putting her away for good. Setting up the ladder once again now, now positioning, positioning it near that. I thought she was going to use the table, but now I'm not sure what she's setting up for. I don't know. She knows what she's setting up for. She's taking a lot of punishment in this one. Her mind can't fully be in control of her body right now. Getting another ladder. This aluminum painter's ladder. Yeah, notice you said painter's ladder. There's this thing is a wrestler's ladder. These objects are not meant to come across people's bodies. Don't be an occupationist. Ladders are for everyone. I'm just trying to point out the dangers of this match. It's case, a very dangerous case, match. I didn't notice. I think we've seen that. I think we've established that. Just look at the way both competitors are moving. This is a very dangerous contest. These two ladies now. Athena might be oh, 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 right, right across the throat. But Hanaya is not backing down. One shot to the throat. Unable to stop whatever she's trying to accomplish. And that's put Athena through that ladder. Oh, God. And that ladder. That ladder. No give. No give. Athena. Just, Athena's the one who put it there in the first place. Yeah, we say that ladder had no give. But the ladder holding it looks like the leg's about to buckle. That was how much force Hanaya came down. Just driving Athena into that ladder. Looks like Kanai is not done yet. What she's setting up for? Oh, she, she drove her knee into the stomach, but you got to remember the ladder was still underneath Athena. So all that metal driven into her back in the process. This match has been a train wreck and a car crash to both women's bodies. The fans are trying to will Athena back into this matchup as Athena has been on the receiving end of quite some devastating maneuvers in the last few moments of this match. Yeah, like I was saying, the first two thirds of this matchup, it was back and forth, but really the last couple of minutes, it's all been Hanaya. With the high impact offense, using the ladder to her advantage. Just pounding away on Athena right now. A huge chop from Hanaya to Athena, has Athena reeling. I, and now battling it out near that, I don't know, what would you say, 22-foot tall ladder? Sure. Sounds about right. I don't want to be anywhere near, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that in a match. <laughs> Not to imagine the six-foot chair structure that these two ladies built. Hanaya still in control. 
just battling away. And I is. She sees the ladder, she sees the chair control, oh. she sees the guardrail, which she sends Athena into. Anaya still has a lot that she can do to Athena to try to put her away. But it's that risk and variable of these weapons that could cost her if she doesn't do it as soon as possible. I think for the first time in Anaya's career, I've seen a look of confidence in her face after that. I mean, she's, she has, she's fairly young in this business. Nope, she usually looks timid, but right now she's not looking timid anymore. She's going back to that ladder bridge. That forest base roots. Oh, oh, oh look at Athena. No, 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 able to stop it. Yes. I think Anaya took it there. I think her back hit the ground. No, no. Are you kidding me? This is going to kill the young lady. Don't this do is this. Kill her. Don't do this. Oh, <laughs> slingshotting her ribs first in that ladder. If she didn't break a rib, I don't know if Athena's going to be able to continue, but if she didn't break a rib, Athena's career might be shortened just from the process of having that done to her. The damage done's definitely going to win this for Athena now. I don't think Athena's done. Yeah, she's not. Now she's positioned across that ladder by Athena. What does Athena have in mind now? She wants to win this one in a big way. I think it goes beyond winning. I think she wants to end Hanaya. I think she wants to put a, a solid exclamation point to the end of their rivalry and to the end of Hanaya. Is she going for a submission hold on top of this ladder bridge? That's exactly what she's going for. Tying up the legs and pulling on the neck. She's done so much damage to the back of of Hanaya. Yeah, and you know what? The ribs are also contracted in this, the midsection, which has also been damaged. We saw just driven in that ladder moments ago. But Hanaya not giving up. Hanaya's not going to quit in this one. I think Athena just let go for her own safety on that ladder bridge. Yeah, she could never get good footing on it. The black hand to the midsection. And now Athena ascending up, and Hanaya is in an undesirable position right now. Oh, and oh, oh, no. no! Did you see the way her face came down on the leg of that ladder? And this is what Hanaya needs to do. Uh, Athena just hellaciously collided with that ladder, and Hanaya's got to take advantage of this. And she has a full mouth of teeth. After this match, I'm going to be shocked. Hanaya now wants to bust out the first table in this matchup. She might not need it. She might just need to put away Athena. She might have her beat. She's made the mistake once of taking too much time against Athena and Acosta earlier. Hanaya now has plenty of time, I think, as she sets up the table. Yeah, but you see she's in a hurry. There's a sense of urgency with Hanaya right now. She has to capitalize. She knows it. Athena might be knocked out cold, but she can still wake up. But part of the problem is getting Athena back into the ring. Did she just drop the leg of that ladder across her as well? The hell is she? Oh, no. I mean, I think we all know she wants to drive her through the table. She wants to make an arena moment is what she wants to do. Hanaya wants to win this one in a big way. She wants to define her career. The moment that stands the time of history. But she might be wasting too much time yeah, in the ring. Yeah, Athena's finally starting to wake up. It's a chain of endearment, but it's not going to win you the match unless you capitalize on Athena. I, uh, maybe Athena is enough. I mean, she, she, she is awake, but the lights are definitely not on. Athena, Athena I think, more instinctually trying to get back into the ring. Oh! Maybe she was just luring, I don't think she was luring Hanai into a trap, actually. I think what happened there, she just was, had a quick burst of energy. That's, she's in survival mode right now. Fighting to make sure nothing else dangerous happens to her in this career-shortening match. That's what these TLC matches are. Oh, no. They take time off your career. There are two ways to go for Hanaya right now, the way Athena's placing there, and neither way is good. 
That kick to the head put an eye out on her feet. And what happens next? Athena is looking at that stack of chairs. And what happens next might just put her out. Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Both women, both women feeling the wrath of that stack of chairs. Just an unbelievable amount of risk to win this TLC match. Did you see how many well, chairs were just driven into the bodies of these two athletes? Well, I can see Athena's moving her, her limbs. That's one good sign right now. It's a good Hanaya. sign. I'm not sure about Hanaya, though. Hanaya moving her legs. And her fingers. Well, that's a good sign, too. <laughs> but how the hell did either of them get up to finish this matchup? I have no clue. They're given everything they have to win this war, to win this TLC match, to go home with the victory. Now, I'm not sure if we covered this beforehand, but I believe that the way to win this match is by pinfall oh, submission did. inside the ring. Oh. Go. The fight somehow continuing. Oh. Referee, stop the match. I don't know. Keep it going. What are you talking I, about? I don't think Hanaya would have anything pleasant to say or what she might do if the ref were to stop the match. As long as this, she has this a... This is for the longevity of these two ladies' careers. This is I, one of the most hard-hitting matches. You want to stop it? Are you crazy? As long as she has an ounce of will in her body, she's not quitting. She's not going to let this match be stopped. She's going to keep fighting. She wants to prove her worth. She wants to prove she's a top athlete. Breathe, Jake, breathe. I'm trying. It's, it's getting emotional here. This match has been 21 minutes of pure hell. Just the show of the respect. Like we said, they shook hands before the match. Oh. All gone now. Anaya is a woman possessed. And now they're back in the ring with this match. Can end now. Now that ladder, that table set up in the middle of the ring. And both women are fighting for position here. Trading kicks now. And then back at the back of Hanaya. Super oh. That kick lays Athena out on that table. Well, here's her moment. This is her moment right now for Hanaya. She's looking to make a career. She's looking to win the biggest match of her lifetime. She's... If she can beat Athena, she's going to risk it all to do it. Oh, man! Oh, no! oh, and the table doesn't give. But Athena's back might have... The crushing weight of Hanaya. Crushing the sternum of Athena, the back being crushed by that table. Her wrist table. had to be broken after that. Absolutely. They were just sandwiched oh. in between the table and Hanaya. But Hanaya's going to recycle that table. She's going to give it one more shot. Well, she wants her moment. And can you blame her? I don't even know if that... The legs uh, are smashed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hanaya should have tried to put her away, though. Only use this as a last resort. Inside cradle. Oh. That would be it. One, two, and... Oh, only a two count. I'm surprised it was that much, considering how much punishment Athena's just taken. Like Dan said, she's in survival mode. But she finds herself in the same position she was about a minute and a half ago. Underneath a crazed Hanaya. Look at Hanaya. She is she is living in the moment right now. The risk taking Huntress. Back up! Oh, oh no. this time succeeds! But how much did that take out of her? If she doesn't get her hand over Athena, it was all for nothing. Hanaya may have knocked the wind out of herself. 
Look at her trying to will herself. She's just living in the moment right now. We got the cover. One, two, and no! Stand what? Two sentons from the top of a ladder using a table, and somehow Athena still manages to kick out. When, and she has another table. Kanaya is willing to do anything to win this one. But look at her, she can barely move that table after the physical beating that she's gone through in this matchup. But it looks like she's hyped back up, ready to hopefully, in her mind, put Athena away using a table this time around. No, oh, I think Athena minute. caught her. Athena caught her. Oh, oh. the back of her head. Oh. And then go for a second one. And it will cover one, two, and no. No. Only a two count. How the hell did that happen? That was a two, right? I didn't lose my mind. That was only a two. That was only a two count. This match lives on. What else can you do? What else can you do to try to put your opponent away? How much harder can you go into this fight? How much more depraved can you be with your offense? Maybe we're about to find out. Oh, you can see the lower back starting to give on Athena there. You can see her grasp for air. She has to have a cracked river too. It has her set. Just gripping the arm and legs. Fisherman Buster right on the steel. Panaya's neck was just compressed from that. One, two, and no. Oh, oh, I. How was it that close? Once again, only a two count. I don't know if I've ever seen two athletes just take this much damage in a TLC match and survive it. Now you're seeing uh, Athena getting frustrated. She, that ladder's not good enough. She's looking at the big one. The biggest one there. I don't know if you can tell from home, but that ladder is almost reading the trusses on the ceiling of this building. If Athena goes there, she can swing off of them. Don't give her any ideas. I don't think she can hear me from back here. You have to have some crazy ideas if you, if you sign up for a TLC match in this building. Is she, she's going to climb up that ladder on the outside of the ring. Did she get the distance to make it to the inside of the ring, considering every part of her body's got to be in immense pain right now? I mean, and she tried that. I hate to say she tried that coast to coast earlier, wasn't able to make the full impact. That distance was too far. Can she connect from this distance? Oh, face! Yes! Oh, face! From the outside into the ring! Two. the standing ovation they are getting now. Both women have proved to be main event players. But with the O-Face, Athena comes out victorious. Have you ever seen in a ladder match, a TLC match,
second. From behind with that steel chair. So much for respect. Oh. But Naya showing her true colors tonight. We thought this was about respect, but the truth is it's about Hanaya making her career. If she couldn't win the match, this is her moment. Oh, you're laying out Athena. And again. Oh, and this beating is still continuing. I, I didn't expect this from Athena, I mean from Hanaya, but I think I kind of like it. Oh, what a, it was a, she got her moment. She did get her moment. Maybe not the way she wanted it, but she got it.